Hello friends and welcome to Garbogist reading vlog. themed around unhinged female characters slash good for her. I think it's going to be more good for her than unhinged of uh, the books that I picked out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited. If you don't know what unhinged uh, female character or good for her characters are, uh, some good examples are <laughs> before um, I tell you about what I'm, I'm planning on reading for this vlog is uh, like Maeve Fly, uh, They Never Learn, My Year of Rest and Relaxation, Bunny, I would say, is another one that's really good. Uh, so those are good examples. Uh, what I will be mainly reading is um, unhinged, uh, good for her, um, female stuff going on in books that are written by men mostly. I believe the ones I picked out. There might be one or two female authors, uh, but yeah, so I'm thinking they're going to be quite trashy. Uh, so starting off with Bethany Sin by Robert R. McCammon. I am super excited to read this. I happened to glance at a review of this one, uh, and uh, it just seems like it goes off the rails at one point. So I'm super excited for this one. This is about a family that moves to a small town named Bethany's Sin, and uh, the Men, men are scared to walk alone at night out there so that sounds fantastic uh so i'm super excited for this one um i'll probably do the audio for this one uh just because i want to not break this book anymore uh because the cover is just fantastic uh and then i picked out the beloved by jf gonzalez uh this is this just looks like a good for her kind of. and i feel like survivor was a bit good for her in like a very twisted way. Uh, I think this is extreme. I'm pretty sure this is extreme horror. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for this one. And then Elizabeth by Ken Greenhall. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. I totally blanked on his name for a second. Um, this is a novella. I'm going to read this on ebook on Scribd. And this is about a girl who, um, does something bad <laughs> is what I'm thinking a high school girl I think she's in high school or a young lady uh so yeah I know these three books for sure I will be reading this week um I have a couple others picked out I do have some by some female authors but mostly are written by men uh so I'm expecting them to be quite trashy so I'm super excited to read this trash for Garb August. Uh, and yeah, have a bit of a theme going on this week. Uh, I've been wanting to do an unhinged, um, unhinged good for her, um, reading vlog for a while. And so I was trying to make it work really hard for Garb August because I don't want to wait another month for it. Um, so yeah, I have some other stuff planned, uh, to read. I have about, I think three, other books or so to read but I was like let's just say three uh at first instead of six to not get ahead of ourselves this month already um and then I have a bit of a haul if you guys are probably look wondering um it's not that big because I'll just do the home goods uh, haul because I've been going crazy um Dollar Tree has started to put out their stuff so I actually have like a big a bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree right now but I will just go through the um the home goods stuff because I haven't I've been really good there um I got this guy and he's just adorable I think I, I think he's for candy I think you put candy up here but I might store candy in there because I like the idea of just reaching in and being like like you're eating like his brain or something <laughs> but isn't he cute so cute and these um are ruffled here and yeah it's just really cute it's like he's um he's leading the halloween parade with his little his little pumpkin too uh it's just so cute i had to get it uh they have a couple different styles of these they had one dressed up as in like a a candy corn outfit too and I almost got that one too I almost got both of them I was like just get one because that's crazy uh but he was only twenty dollars 
and he looks like he'd be a lot more um, so yeah I was excited to get him I have a whole other area to decorate this year and I'm really excited I'm gonna do pumpkins um, in another area instead of, and do my pumpkin wall so I'll still have pumpkin wall um, I'm gonna add to pumpkin wall take away you know do something different there uh, and then I also will have a pumpkin wall and like um, on top of a book uh, shelf to in our entryway so I'm super excited uh, and then I got some pumpkin oven mints uh, and these are like heavy duty and they're super thick I really needed new ones because I've been using Dollar Tree ones and I have to use like two at a time or like they burn my hands so um, I've been I'm super excited for these and I think these were 13 and they came with two dish towels too um, but yeah 13 so these are really cute. I'm not showing you the dish towels at all. So we have trick or treat with pumpkins and bats and then it's just the pumpkins. So you can't go wrong with pumpkins ever. Uh, and then I also got this I'm drinking some water out of. This is so such a cute tumbler. I actually got this at Marshalls but I know like Home Goods and TJ Maxx and stuff are like the same so I'm drinking some water in this right now it's my new favorite water ice water container and the winner of my Home Goods finds is this bat blanket or bat throw I'm so excited to find this uh, it's super soft but it's also like light too I got a fleece blanket with the pumpkins. It's different than the one I already have. But I was like, you know, I have like five of these fleece blankets already. I don't have like an actual like throw blanket that's nice and just black and white. Um, yeah, so I was super happy to find this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm still decor hunting. Uh, and yeah, so I'm still going out to places. I'm really waiting for Target. August is typically when Target starts to put out their decor so hopefully there'll be some there uh, this week uh, but yeah none so far none so far uh, and then I will do a Dollar Tree haul a little later on uh, in this vlog and I will get to reading some unhinged slash good for her uh, garbage <laughs> okay so it is the next day um, I uh, lost my mind and freaking binged Bethany's Sin by Robert R. McCammon. I could not stop reading this book last night, like, at all. We were supposed to go see Talk to Me uh, for, like, a discount night at the movie theater, and I was like, I don't want to go. I just want to read Bethany's Sin. <laughs> Who am I? What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah I had a lot of fun with this one I as a, it's very compulsive to read you want to know well what is going on in Bethany's sin uh, and I will say the reveal and the payoff are very much worth it uh, it's not a super long book uh, and I did do the audio along with it but it was fun to be like a little immersed uh, with it. I knew I wasn't gonna, I said I wasn't gonna use it, but I was very gentle. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Oh my gosh, is this as good as Usher's Passing? N no, I don't think so, but is it as fun as Usher's Passing? Yes, I will say that. And that one is, um, these are on the fun McCammon levels. Uh, so, hmm, how do I describe this book? Uh, <laughs> If a small family goes to live in Bethany Sin, the men there are kind of scared. Um, and the women are a little weird. There's something going on with their eyes that are a little weird. Um, and at the same time, our main character, Evan, is uh, a Vietnam vet. And he has um, these dreams that might be like psychic power dreams. So he can kind of like predict the future a little bit. Um, with some of his dreams. His wife, on the other hand, is kind of sick of the whole dream stuff. <laughs> uh, and she definitely minimizes his trauma from Vietnam. Uh, this starts off pretty rough uh, with uh, him in Vietnam and like what he went through. Uh, and that really hooked me too. I was like, okay, 
I'm, I'm, I'm hooked with this character. I know you're supposed to be rooting for him. I was not really rooting for him. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he's gonna find out what's going on. It, it is not gonna be good for him. And <laughs> the, some of the stuff in this is so ridiculous. Okay, minor spoiler here. I will say this reminded me of the Snoo Snoo episode in Futurama. <laughs> I was just like dying. Oh my gosh. Yes, straight up snoo snoo from Futurama happens. <laughs> um, it does lean a bit cosmic, I feel like, in some of the stuff, but like a really nerdy, nerdy cosmic with mythology and stuff. If you like Greek mythology, I think you'll like this one. If you like kind of zany, wacky premises with a lot of gore, um, some disturbing stuff, you'll like it. Um, I had a blast with it. I have to give it five stars, right? I have to give this five stars, which is so funny because I don't think a lot of people like this book, <laughs> but I had an absolute blast. Was the ending kind of disappointing? The climax was great. I did really like the climax of this. The, ac the actual ending with some main characters just felt kind of like, bleh, whatevs. Like, it was just, it's just something that happened. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Oh my gosh, I, I, Garbogist, I'm like having a blast. Uh, and then as for Elizabeth, I am 50 pages into Elizabeth. Uh, hopefully I'll finish that tonight at work. I just filmed by, uh, July wrap up, uh, in between jobs today because I had like a couple hours. And I'm gonna go into work, I'm gonna edit that, and then I'm gonna read Elizabeth. I do need to find another audiobook. So it might be a, a newer book. Um, and I don't know if it will fall into the Garbagist range, but we shall see. It's definitely gonna be an unhinged, good for her uh, main character though. So stay tuned for that. Oh my goodness, so big. You're a big groundhog. Okay, so I've been really bad about checking in. Uh, it's been a full day since I checked in. Uh, yesterday I worked and then I saw talk to me uh, and it was, it was great. It was excellent. Uh, I was not expecting this to be so brutal, <laughs> but I loved it. Uh, it did give me ghost eater vibes for sure uh, in it, uh, but it is different. It is different from Ghost Years, but the themes are there, I feel like, with it. Uh, the ending of this movie is so good. It's definitely worth seeing in theaters if you're a horror fan. Uh, and also A24 is a, like a good production company, I guess, because they agreed to the stag stuff uh, very early on, I think in the first couple of hours, so they were up and running again. So uh, if you're going to support a movie, definitely support this one if you like horror and theater. So we see more of this stuff. Uh, A24 um, wasn't attached to this, but they bought it um, at a festival. And yeah, it was awesome. It's great. And the directors are YouTubers. So if anything, you know, support a YouTuber doing their dream. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I loved it. It was fantastic. It was great. Alex said, it was derivative. The critic in him. Um, I didn't think it was derivative at all. Uh, it's like 90 minutes. It's like <laughs> super fast. Uh, but I absolutely loved it. And I'll stop talking about that. <laughs> and I also went to Marshall's again. 
uh, again, I feel like I've been at Marshall's instead of Home Goods more this week. And uh, I did find something I was looking for. I found this cute little um, spa headband with the ghosties. So cute. And uh, it was only $4. And you guys know what I did. You know what I did. I got another ghost mug. <laughs> and Alex doesn't know about it. And I'm not going to tell him. Um, I love this one. It looks like he's dancing. He's just like, I'm a ghost. I'm dancing. And you guys know I love a dancing ghost. I feel like my whole year is dancing ghost Katrina this year. That is the vibe. Witch, witchy vibe, dancing ghost vibe, you know, the typical. So yeah, I was so happy to find these. Uh, and yeah, I've continued the hunt. I went to an at home today. That was a mess. You know, I, all at, ho at homes are not created equal. <laughs> and this one I was putting off going, uh, going to, and um, I only saw like one or two things different from my local one that I usually go to. So yeah, and it looked like either they just haven't put a lot of stuff out or a lot of stuff is gone. It's probably the latter. <laughs> uh, but as for reading, I did finish Elizabeth by Ken Greenhall. This also was released under a pen name. I believe it's Jessica something. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of his writing style. He has like a very dry writing style and also the way he wrote Elizabeth. The, the character reminded me of Baxter so much from Hellhound and I was like is this just Baxter but like as a teenage girl? Like dude like <laughs> get it together. Um, I don't know. I was just like not feeling it and also there is a content warning for incest in this that is not even talked about. It's just like, mm, it's just something that happens. It's like, no, like, which, just like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, Elizabeth is crazy. Uh, she, um, she has these assumptions about herself, I guess, um, and judges everybody and thinks there's, a spirit or something in the mirror that is telling her to like all these secrets and also to do things. Uh, this is more of an evil kid story I think than like uh, good for her story for sure. I mean I guess the ending you're kind of like yeah good for you but also she's still like kind of evil. I don't know. Uh, also this goes into another subgenre of horror that I wasn't expecting and I actually like really enjoyed those parts of it. It's just his writing is so dry. I was just like oh my god here we are Elizabeth. She's out here being superior to everybody everywhere. Little Miss living in Lower East Side Manhattan like I'm better than everybody. Oh yeah I killed my parents. Yeah like what? Get out of here. You're so annoying. So yeah being in her head for almost 200 pages was a lot. It was a lot. I did enjoy some aspects of it and I think I'm leaning towards a three star. Same with Hellhound. Like I feel like there's something there. Maybe I just don't get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, his writing is so dry and weird and awkward and like I just can't. I cannot get over it but I'm glad I read it. I believe this is on, in my 12 12 for 12 or 12 recommended. I think Kelly actually recommended this to me. Uh, but yeah, it is right up my alley actually, I feel like. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to read another one of his books and just see and just be like, is it his writing? Is he just writing like Baxter? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I started The Beloved. I almost said Survivor. And I know why I almost said Survivor is because this kind of starts off like Survivor with an awesome prologue. Like the prologue in Survivor in this is amazing. It's so great. It like pulls you in. It's weird. Um, it starts off with this guy catching his wife cheating on him and he's like upset. He has a gun. He shoots the dude. He like unloads a revolver six times or whatever. He shoots this guy. 
and the guy's down and he's like oh no I just murdered somebody but I was upset and his wife is like why did you do that like I love him so much and he's even more devastated it's like this big dramatic melodrama part and then the dude gets up and is like really funky looking and she turns kind of funky looking and they start kissing or something and like the dude is just like fuck this and he runs because he's like I know I shot that I know that dude is dead so that is the prologue to this that was awesome and then I read two more chapters and it's the most boring stuff ever it's just like women fighting and I'm like dude are we gonna do this I'm not doing this um I know survivors are very convoluted and derivative <laughs> to get where it goes so, and I just don't have the patience I don't have the patience for it but definitely a garbage read for sure uh, maybe I'll have the patience later on this month but not right now I don't have any patience for it uh, and so I switched it out hopefully I got it in the b-roll I was like mm -mm, I'm done with this uh, and I switched it out for audition by Rayu Murakami I read in the miso soup by this author and I enjoyed it. I feel like it, the ending didn't do it for me. Um, I definitely like this one a lot more. It is a very slow burn though um, until we get to the famous part, right? <laughs> uh, if, I love this movie so much. Uh, <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, and I think my favorite part is to deal with the mouth part. That was my favorite part. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's very slow and you're just getting that the dude's point of view and it's set up like the movie it's like oh like a fake audition a thing what I didn't care for in the, in the book is there's no real like you never know if she found out and I feel like that's really clear in the movie that she found out I mean with her past, I guess you don't really need to know that so much. Uh, you get like one point of view from her and I wanted more from her, of course. Um, and this than him, it's really boring. Also, he has a son and I don't remember the movie having a son in it and the son is really funny actually in the book because he's like, uh, yo, like, I don't care what you do dad like quit talking to me about this and then also like the friend in this is so funny he's like I don't know she creeps me out she creeps me out there's something about her I don't trust her don't call her back or whatever you know and yeah of course the main character's like mm -mm, I'm so in love I'm so in love after one date <laughs> it's so funny um there is like a ridiculous gratuitous not even a sex scene. It's just him trying to remember the sex. And it goes on forever. It goes on for like a whole chapter. So I think it's trash. I think this goes into the garbage area. <laughs> um, the writing is great though. I will say that. I love the writing in it. Uh, but yeah, after that sex scene, after not even a sex scene, it's just him trying to remember how much sex they had I don't know and he talks about certain parts over and over again like I guess it's supposed to be like images coming to him I was like beat red I read this at work I was like oh my gosh I am so embarrassed right now nobody asked me what I'm reading nobody nobody asked me <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think I'm leaning towards a four star. I had a lot of fun with it. And I, yeah, I do consider this like garbogist, uh, uh, stuff here. Um, I feel like I never talked about Bethany Sin and like how it fits into Unhinged. Good for her. The, I'm, no, I'm backtracking. So Bethany Sin is definitely good for her in the reveal aspect of it um it is good for her and kind of a bit of a revenge story uh but yeah i'm having a blast with these uh stories other than beloved um i still enjoyed elizabeth uh but <laughs> the right i just can't get over that writing uh so yeah i've had a five star a three star and a four star so far and next up is uh full brutal by Christopher Triana so this is extreme horror so we shall see where I land with that one and then I have I think one more 
I'm going to do and that's going to be a newer book uh, so we shall see how I am this vlog <laughs> I am working a ton uh, this weekend so we'll see how much reading I actually get done probably a lot I feel like hopefully knock on wood hopefully a lot but yeah wish me luck <laughs> This is an awkward uh, position. We're in my car before work, uh, and I realized I didn't do a check-in before I left. So here we are. So if you hear stuff or whatever, it's my car, it's other cars. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was going to say I finished Full Brutal by Christopher Triana, and boy oh boy, uh, that was insane. It was insanity. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's over the top. Um, Kim, the, um, the main character, you're in her head and it is a brutal, it is full, full, fully brutal 300 and so pages this book is. Uh, and yeah, but it's also at the same time very over the top and crazy and zany and you can't stop reading it. It's very addicting. Uh, and that's what I liked about it. Uh, and I'm giving it three stars. I did enjoy this for some reason. <laughs> um, I really liked the ending. Um, it just kept escalating. It escalated, it escalated. Uh, and yeah, Kim is a total psycho. Uh, and my, moving on to my next read of a total sociopathic, um, unhinged female character is Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. So wish me luck. Okay, so it is the next day. Uh, I... Managed to finish two more books at work yesterday. I worked until like 11 o'clock at night, uh, but it wasn't like where I had to be constantly working, so that was nice. Uh, I managed to finish uh, a boy parts, start boy parts, and finish boy parts at work uh, listening to it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, nobody talked to me uh, about what I'm listening to here. Uh, I think this is narrated by... The author I might be wrong uh, but yeah very British <laughs> very very British uh, this is about um, uh, I don't even know what to say about this, this is like Mavefly uh, without um, I don't know I don't know what to say that without like the fun of Mayfly uh, like Mayfly is fun like she's kind of a fun character uh she's funny uh she likes halloween she's a bit of like a film nerd and stuff this is like a mix of the character from full brutal with mave a little bit uh total sociopath uh might be a psychopath uh lots of drug use in this um and definitely look up content warnings because there's content warnings from eating disorders to sa like it's it's a lot in here uh but yeah our main character is a photographer she takes like fetish photos of young boys uh and it stuff just starts to escalate with her and her models um and there is a very horrific scene in this um that it just felt out, a little out of place but I guess she was escalating but the narrator of a certain character literally sounds like a child 
so it's very very disturbing to hear a child like and the main character's interactions with them oh my gosh like it's rough it is a rough 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 book uh very dark but also like you can't stop listening because you're like how far is she gonna go <laughs> with this uh and there is kind of like a bit of nuance in it kind of like the cipher like um to be what it does it actually take to be an artist and to create something original or like have an original take and stuff there is like an art like uh creation creator uh subject matter in this um and then also she's really into disturbing films like our main character from full brutal so it was funny like reading these two books back to back because there's so many similarities but the way like full brutal is is just like schlocky and this is like <laughs> more uh nuanced i guess that's <laughs> about 100 120 days of sodom like both these characters love that movie but the way i rana i i i'm gonna mispronounce her name from boy parts but the way she talks about that movie is in a very artistic way when kim from full brutal brutal is just like uh, inspired or whatever by it i don't know um i don't even know what i'm saying but it was just so weird and then like afterwards i was just like i need to finish this freaking vlog because like i'm not okay <laughs> like reading these two books back to back i was just like i'm going crazy i'm going crazy i need a shower like gross um but yeah i'm thinking four stars for boy parts and also i i wouldn't really consider it garbagus material as well so uh this is probably the only book that uh, yeah the only book in this vlog uh that i wouldn't consider garbagus stuff uh but definitely worth checking out it also reminded me of tell me i'm worthless so if you like that book as well i really like that book uh, I thought it was a unique haunted house story uh, and yeah this I think there's like a lot of similarities to both of these books not because they're just British but <laughs> uh, they're really interesting uh, horror books for sure uh, so yeah that was a thing and then I ended up reading Allison by Jeff Strand because I was like I just need something schlocky you know like I need something really easy and short and like um to not think about boy parts because <laughs> that book is messed up uh so i ended up reading this on ku uh last night and it was so much fun it's kind of like a carry story uh a modern day carry story i guess about this woman allison who has the power telekinesis telekinesis power of only breaking bones it's what it seems like like she can't really do much but she can just break people's bones um has a great opening it's very cinematic and it's jeff strand so you're kind of getting a little bit of everything in there you get a little bit of romance you get um like a mob story <laughs> that's like what kind of bugged me about this book is the mob story because i felt like it just was so repetitive it was like oh and then like the mob is mad or whatever again and like <laughs> the mob is so mad at allison and like i don't get it i didn't get um uh, why i mean i guess because it's the mob it's like you break some bones or whatever i don't know um uh, so yeah there's like this epic epic fight though towards the end and i was loving it i loved the, the ending um the epilogue is very weird though i will say that it's very weird in like definitely garbagist uh material for sure so i think i'm leaning towards a 3.5 for it i'll definitely round up to four stars which is typical for a jeff strand book i haven't really been like super blown away by any of his books but i plan on reading more of his books um for garb august uh he just has so many and like i always have a good time with them i think they're great little palette cleansers when you're going from like really intense books <laughs> into something like okay like i can kind of turn off my brain and just like enjoy this story for a minute uh so yeah i enjoyed it it was nice 
ending to this vlog where I felt like I was going crazy. Uh, and then I did some decor hunting as well. Um, I, you guys should probably see it already. I did found the bat pillow from Michaels. I love this orange. It's probably um, not really picking up on the on the camera. It is very vibrant orange. It's like a dark orange. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. Uh, and I only got it for $10, which is amazing because I used a coupon and I had vouchers from there too. So um, I was very, very happy. I was a happy lady going into work yesterday because I found this. Um, and then I said I would do my Dollar Tree haul stuff. So I had to get these ghosties. Are so cute. Can, is it picking it up? Arr. And these also make a noise. I think I need batteries for it though. Um, but yeah, when I put batteries in it, I think they go ooh or something. Uh, and then I got some picks pumpkin picks, glittery pumpkin picks. And then I thought these were cute. I've never seen these um, before. And I know they have candy corn ones, but I haven't found those yet, but I'm definitely gonna get those too. These are like cloth, uh, but they're super fun. So with all of these, I definitely have DIY projects and stuff I want to do. Same with some other stuff here. Uh, and then I got this door, um, this reef hanger for your door. So this goes on the top of the door and then the reef goes here, but it's a little ghosty. It's so cute. Even the lady checking me out was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I was like, yeah, I've never seen Dollar Tree carry reef ones. This um, detail, they also have a, hand, a skeleton hand one that was cute. And then a, um, a bat one, which I didn't get because I can only put up so many reefs. I only have one front door. Uh, well, technically I guess I have two. I don't know, but I would only do it on one. So, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't need that. I had self control for once, but yeah, I also got some, speaking of bats, I got these glittery bats. The detail on these are really cool. Usually I don't do glitter stuff, but I'm going to use these for a DIY. Um, a lot of stuff I picked up from Dollar Tree and going forward is going to be DIY stuff. Uh, and then I found something I've never seen there before. These vintage looking rub-on transfers. So these aren't stickers. You just rub these onto like a wooden box or um, anything you want pretty much. I actually did this on my journal, I think last year or on the inside of my journal this year. Was it this year? I can't remember time. Um, and it turned out so cool because it like so it was like a vintagey looking Halloween stuff too um but it, half of it like didn't come off but it made it look more vintage if that makes sense so those are really cool for DIYs I definitely got two of those because I was like oh my gosh those are so cute and then of course stickers you gotta get stickers there they have the cutest stickers this year I love these ghosties I think they're cuter than last year like the devil horn ghosty and the cat ghosty. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And then I've never seen these bat stickers before. They had haunted house ones too, and I didn't get those. Uh, and then just your typical, I feel like they have these every year, but they're slightly different. Uh, maybe not this green set, but I definitely go through these with journaling or writing cards to people. I always like to stick stickers. Um, in on cards and stuff so um yeah i love all the stickers there and i also got cotton candy spider web cotton candy um i don't know why i got this uh i would taste test it now for you but it is literally 9 30 in the morning and i can't eat cotton candy at 9 30 in the morning uh before i go into work uh but i'm assuming it's just white and it's like smooth, spooky spider webs, you know. <laughs> Maybe um, next week's vlog, I will um, taste test this uh, for you guys and let you know it's sour apple flavored. And there's a very disturbing uh, spider on the on the bottom there. Like, what's she doing? Why is she Why is she feeding us her spider webs? Anyways, I don't know why I thought of it that way. Um, so for next week, I. We'll be doing paperbacks from hell reading vlog for garb august and that is going to be rough i already know <laughs> i already know it i already know that's going to be really hard because there's not audiobooks for a lot of the ones i want to read 
uh, and I have to be rereading them physically, uh, and yeah, that's, that's tough for me sometimes, especially, like, running around and stuff, uh, but yeah, more Halloween decor hunting for sure will happen, uh, and yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any unhinged good for her recommendations. I, uh, always down for a good unhinged character. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!